I am just back from the Netherlands where I finally, <laughs> finally started the field work for my dissertation. Um, if you don't know already, I am in the fourth year of my bachelor's degree and I am an aspiring wildlife biologist and I've chosen to do my dissertation on the vocalisations of wolves. Um, I will be specifically looking at the Dutch wolf population and comparing that to the Yellowstone population over the next year but beyond that I really want to incorporate a lot of different um, European wolf populations as well. Um, luckily for me I'm able to collaborate with the incredible Jeff Reed at the Cry Wolf Project in uh, Yellowstone and he has done an amazing TED talk, really great work with bioacoustics over there so I will put a link to that in the description if you want to see some of his work. Um, yeah, I did want to film this in more of a vlog style because I was sad I didn't do that with my Slovakia vlog. I just feel it's like a lot more engaging that way to like, you know, take the camera along and discuss while I'm in the moment. But I have been having non-stop technical issues um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, my laptop has just been crashing non-stop and my GoPro is now acting up. Um, so I'm filming this on my phone just in case I have any more problems. No idea what happened there, but um, hopefully the clips that I did get um, will give you a little bit of a feeling of what it was like um, in my time there and I will talk throughout it as well. So yeah, let's see what I got up to. I made it to the Netherlands! Woo! Um, yeah, I'm just getting ready just now to go and meet up with Hugh and Michon um, to start today's field work. It's going to be a flying visit here. Um, I've got so much to do. I'm only here for a couple of days and yeah, we've got quite a lot of things to get done. Um, we've got two different locations to go to and uh, yeah, it's going to be busy. And I'm just feeling lucky that I even made it here, to be honest, because yesterday there was a storm in Scotland and all the flights were getting cancelled and there were power cuts everywhere and somehow mines was fine. Uh, my flight went ahead, I arrived here late last night, immediately went to bed and <laughs> I woke up feeling, I actually managed to sleep all right um, and yeah, I woke up feeling good, I'm excited. Um going to go and grab some breakfast now and start the day. I have also brought my lucky wolf Lopa Pesa. From, from Iceland and my lucky wolf socks from Slovakia. This part is mainly that's the good DNA, right? Yeah. Oh. So here you can see the hairs from what it has been eaten. Probably deer. If I look at that, and this, yeah, I think it's a deer. Yeah, it looks like not. It's not brushy enough, enough for boars. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Very nice. Yes, tasty. So yeah, the first day really couldn't have went any better. Um, I got up and met up with Misha and Hugh. Misha I know from Slovakia. He was actually one of the trackers and guides there um, for the White Wilderness Programme where we were tracking large carnivores. Um, and Hugh I met uh, at the Wolves Across Borders conference this summer. And yeah, this project just would not be possible without the help and support of uh, those two. So I am just endlessly grateful for the help that they are have given me and are continuing to give me over the next year. Um, I won't be able to fly out to change the batteries and SD cards very often so they are going to be doing that for me mostly. Um, but yeah so we set up uh, four different wildlife acoustics SM3 recorders 
in two different wolf territories, so two in each location, and I they are going to run like twenty four seven, picking up um basically all noise. But I'll be running it through an AI program designed by um Dr. Jeff Reed uh, to pick up any sort of wolf vocalizations and. Obviously there's room for error so I'll be going through this myself as well but um, yeah I'm really really excited I should be getting like the first of the data back like literally any day now so I am so excited and hopefully in my next video there's a, a nice wolf howl recording for you but um, yeah we'll see. And after a long day of rainy field work um, we headed back to Hugh's house where we spent the night with whiskey and uh, stories about wolves and just conservation, ecology and just incredible company, incredible whiskey. Um, we actually had the Highland Park Spirit of the Wolf whiskey, I think it's called, but so it's very on brand. Um, but yeah, I couldn't have asked for better hosts and Hugh and Judith, honestly, they are just the most welcoming, kind-hearted people. Um, and I, I feel just so like, unworthy of like the the help I have received um from all these people uh honestly it, it's like really restored my faith in humanity these were just such great people um and yeah I am um, I will never forget this weekend uh it was incredible it's in <coughs> true Dutch style I'm getting put on a bike yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> second day I was lucky enough to get the full Dutch experience of cycling to the field sites to do the last two locations and um, we did two per day um, and genuinely one of my favourite times from this trip was just cycling through the landscapes there they're just so different from Scotland like the Netherlands is just so flat and everything just feels completely different to what I'm used to and yeah it was pouring rain we're covered in our waterproof gear and everything and Hugh was kind enough to give me the electric bike so it wasn't um it's hard going <laughs> for me who's not who's not used to cycling everywhere um but yeah it was just a uh, it was a great day once again just a uh, set up the recorders and yeah um it honestly couldn't have went better and I'm just so happy with how everything turned out and the only thing that I'm nervous about now is that uh, the recorders aren't actually on <laughs> which might sound stupid but like the SM3s that I'm using they're quite an old machine and I have heard that they're really tricky to to work basically and it seemed like just a bit too easy like when we were doing it and it looked like it was recording, the light was flashing and stuff, so I'm really hoping I'm not having another GoPro incident here, but um, we'll see because, yeah, like I said, we're due to get the first of the data in the next couple of days, so if there's nothing on it, then we'll we'll know and do a bit of problem solving from there. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah all in all it was just the most perfect weekend for me um things really just couldn't have went any better and some of you might have already seen that I had started a coffee account, coffee, I'm not actually sure how you say that. Um, it's basically like a little website where you can tip um, content creators. I've made this um, to help with fieldwork costs. Uh, but obviously you're in no way like obliged to give me any money or anything like that. But if you would be interested in see more of my field work and allow me to do more field work and um hopefully give you some interest in research and return um then yeah i'll be super grateful if you checked out that page um i'll put a link for it as always in the description below um but yeah i please please don't feel like um you need to 
give me anything like you absolutely don't just even interacting with um this video or any of my videos in any way whether that's like liking it commenting sharing like all these things help me um get the the research out to a wider audience and yeah um i am I'm just grateful if you even made it this far in the video to be honest because I'm still getting used to the whole um being a vlogger thing so um yeah I am grateful and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed